Well, you know, we never talk uh, gay marriage, but I, I don't know. Why, why not? Um, it, it, let's say that you had definitive uh, evidence that 52, 53, 54 percent of the country um, it, it thinks it's okay now for, for gay people to get married. I know a lot of gay people be, make great Republicans, and it kills me that, that these free market guys, I mean, they, 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 a litany of private sector economics I hear from them, they vote the other way but, but because of this. Do the Republicans, will they forever be behind the curve, on, and it, in, it, will history judge that they waited way too long to, to move with what looks like the general population on this? You know, I, I don't know where the Supreme Court comes down. As you know, they're discussing this DOMA. They think maybe states, right? Maybe states should do it. They, right. And, and, you know, they, I, seem, they seem a little bit scared, too, to, to be in front of, of things instead of uh, concurrent or behind things. Right. But, you know, it's, it's amazing, though, that, you know, this is a country of diversity. Um, you know, I think there are, there are those of us who have personal religious convictions about the issue. Uh, and I think that we as a country need to respect people for their opinion, no matter which side you come down on. And I think that's what's really been lacking in all of this debate. Because you're right, there are a lot of people, Joe, that um, uh, would really adhere to uh, the kinds of things that Republicans stand for. But I think the last election showed us some of the things that we stand for somehow aren't being received in the proper way, and it's what, being portrayed as we don't care about people, Priebus and they, it couldn't be couldn't be further from the truth. What did that mean? Priebus said there's, there's room for or for pro gay Republicans in the party. I don't even know what that means. A absolutely, really. Think, but I, then, but then they're against. You know, they they still want to deny that that. Well, I don't think you see the other. I don't think you see the other party totally unanimous on any issue. I think yeah, you know, but it's in, their, it's in their platform at this point. Well, a lot of crazy stuff is still on both platforms. And, and, and that this is true. I mean, but I think that we are all a very diver part of a very diverse country and appreciate the freedoms that we are given here as Americans. But part of the deal here is we've got to be tolerant of other people. And I think that's really... I know. mean, if we really are free, then everybody should be free. Um, well, I mean, but then again, if you've got, you know, if it's a religious uh, issue, uh, you know, then you have to raise the question about... Um, what does the government have to do if, if you've got, um, you know, sort of a religious but issue but of traditional marriage? But it's when your religious marriage. beliefs actually interfere with somebody else's freedom. That, that not becomes the question. I'm not asking you to marry another guy. Well, and, and, and you're looking at me like maybe we could. I mean, I've, I've, I've been a big admirer of you for, for. But nobody's asking them to marry. Uh, and, and that one Republican who said, I, I'm not going to marry another guy, so I'm against gay marriage. It's like, you know, he needs to go. So, you know, get a remedial course in something, right? But, you know, this goes to the point that, look, this is an issue that has been divisive, right? Why can't we spend some time on things we can agree on? Right. That's how you build. That's how you grow.